PSLA or Service Level Agreement is a document where a customer and service provider agree to a requirement of services or a level of quality desired between these two parts of a contract. In GLPI, you can track the time of this service level. Let's say in your service level agreement, you have four hours to take into account the ticket and also five days to resolve the ticket. Before you watch this video, you have to make sure you have calendars set up on your organization because the calendars module is an important part in GLPI SLA management. So if you haven't watched this video, you can find the link below or you can click here and watch the video. I will wait. Hi, and welcome back to the TechLib YouTube channel. Now let's dive into the SLA creation. We are going to define intervention time via the calendar, the maximum time to own a ticket, the maximum time to resolution. In GLPI, the SLA creation is in setup service levels. All the service levels are here, the SLAs and OLAs. First and beforehand, we are going to define one service level. This is just an administrative name and also it's where we define the calendar for this SLA. So even though we have a company that works from Monday to Friday, we can have some services that are 24 per 7, let's say. Let's use the SLA for Brazil. Let's say default SLA for Brazil. The calendar will be, yeah, 9 to 7, 5 to Brazil. Inside the service level, I will create the SLAs and OLAs. SLA is what my client sees and OLA is what my team sees. This doesn't interfere in this, but this is a way where your team can see what are the next steps to this ticket without advanced information to your client. I will add a new item. In this case, it's the time to own, which is four hours in Brazil. This is useful because we can see it on the ticket. I will add here the time to own, which is the time between the opening of the ticket and the first person change anything on the ticket. The maximum time is four hours. I will add it. And then also the time to resolve the ticket is five entire days. This is the maximum time to this ticket to be sold. Now I have created the SLAs. There are some ways to insert a time to own or a time to resolve to a ticket. One of it is using the ticket templates where we can insert a time to own or we can use the business rules for tickets where we can define it using an entity, a category, a requester, anything related to a criteria that we defined before. The business rules and the ticket templates are for other videos. So, or after a ticket is opened, ticket one, we can insert it here on service levels. I will give you a hint here. On the tickets list, you can add a column to see the bar graphs running. So let's progress here. Time to resolve plus progress and time to own plus progress. Both of these are going to add a tab here where you can visually see some colors. It is going to be from green to red according to the definitions of it on general default values due date progression. The business rules and the ticket templates are for other videos. Stay tuned, like this video if you liked it and subscribe to our channel. See you around!